Gina Carano versus Gabby Garcia. There are many who think that mixed martial arts is a sport for men. However, women have been dominating in the sport and have created a huge following, especially in recent years. Many of these fighters have revolutionized the sport and others have become household names for mixed martial arts fans and sports fans alike. In this video, we are going to take a look at two of those women, Gina Carano and Gabby Garcia. And we'll also ask the question, who would have been the winner in a fight during their prime? But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks. But for now, let's go back to Carano versus Garcia. Firstly, let's look at these fighters one at a time, starting with Gina Carano. Carano was born in Dallas County, Texas and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. She was a solid athlete in high school, playing volleyball, softball, and basketball. But a fighting career was not something she had ever planned on. In the early 2000s, however, she began dating a Muay Thai fighter named Kevin Ross, who encouraged her to watch him train. This was the start of Carano becoming hooked on fighting, and after just four months of Muay Thai training, she had her first fight. In total, she fought in 14 Muay Thai fights, going 12-1-1 in those bouts. In June 2006, she was involved in the first ever sanctioned female mixed martial arts bout in the state of Nevada. This was the fight where she took on Leticia Pastova at a World Extreme fighting event. Carano was fairly aggressive in the opening seconds of the bout, throwing some big punches and kicks, with none of them really landing. Pistova then went for a takedown, but Carano reversed it and slammed her into the cage. Carano climbed on top of her opponent and then just started pummeling her with punch after punch until the referee had no choice but to call the bout 38 seconds in. This was to be her fastest knockout during her mixed martial arts career. Following her impressive mixed martial arts debut, Gina Carano won her second fight via knockout as well defeating Rosie Sexton with five seconds remaining in the second round at World Pro Fighting Championships 1. After earning unanimous decision victories over Elena Maxwell and Julie Kedzie in her next two fights, Carano scored the only submission victory of her career in September 2007 by choking out Tanya Evinger at Elite XC. In May 2008, she scored a technical knockout win over Caitlin Young, but that was due to a doctor stoppage as Young's right eye was so swollen after two rounds that she was not allowed to continue. Carano's seventh and final victory came in October 2008 at Elite XC, where she won via unanimous decision over Kelly Kobold. Carano's first ever loss in her professional mixed martial arts career and her last ever fight took place against Chris Cyborg in August 2009 at the Strike Force Women's Middleweight Championship. Cyborg won after building up an early advantage by taking Carano to the mat. Cyborg continued controlling the fight and secured the victory by technical knockout at 4.59 in the first round. Although this was a loss for Carano in her fighting career, her action movie career continued on. We are now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to our two fighters. Now a look at Brazilian born professional martial artist Gabby Garcia. Born in November 1985, Garcia spent her early and mid teens playing sports including volleyball, team handball and field hockey. Gabby moved to Sao Paulo with her family when she was 13 years of age. Her uncle trained in jiu-jitsu, which grabbed her curiosity, and she began to train in a local gym. Gabby was very successful as a competitor from the start, but at that point, she did not seek a career in the sport. She kept a busy schedule trying to juggle both training and her studies. But after some time, she came to terms with placing her advertising career on hold 
on the last year of her university course. At the time, she was already training with Fabio Gurgel and had the full support of her family. She is now the most dominant Brazilian jiu-jitsu competitor in the female division's history, where she won the vast majority of important tournaments before receiving her black belt rank. In 2009, Garcia fought the World Noji Championship, a competition she had won the previous year. Being the favorite to win, Garcia cruised to the final with ligament damage to the knee, managing to fight and win the final match against Emily Wetzel. With her training schedule stretched to a maximum with training sessions three times a day, Garcia had an amazing competitive year, winning the Pan American, the Brasileiro, and the World Pro Cup, as well as the Mundial, receiving her long-awaited black belt from the hands of her master, Fabio Gurgel, on the podium of the World Championships. Although Garcia's results from the 2013 International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation World Championships were automatically disqualified when she tested positive for drugs, after a case review, Garcia was found not at fault and no suspension was given. In December 2015, Garcia made her mixed martial arts debut with a fight against Lade de Tapa and won via technical knockout in the first round. During her mixed martial arts career, Garcia fought a total of seven matches, won two of these matches by knockout, four by submission, and one was a no contest due to an eye poke to her opponent, Oksana Gaglova, rendering Gaglova unable to continue after just 16 seconds into the first round. In 2019, Garcia became the first woman to win four Abu Dhabi Combat Club gold medals with a submission in the finals against Karina Santi. In 2021, after losing a professional jiu-jitsu match for the first time in two years, Garcia began to call for matches to be made between her and several high-profile male grapplers. Gordon Ryan, man. Yeah, I think it's easy to fight against you than against these girls because she, the, the, the girls are small and it's hard for me, but against you, let's go, man. I guess that. As yet, this has not happened. If we take a look at these two female fighters in the prime of their fighting careers, who do we think would win? This is a tough one to call, as both women have their individual techniques. Also, we need to bear in mind the weight and height difference. On the one hand, there is Gina Carano weighing in at 143 pounds and a height of five foot eight inches. Then we have Gabby Garcia towering Carano at six foot two inches and weighing in at anything between 235 and 265 pounds. Obviously, weight and height is not a deal breaker, but it does have its advantages. Another thing to consider is the amount of medals that Gabby Garcia has achieved throughout her fighting career far outweighs that of Gina Carano. Again, medals are not a deal breaker, but it does show much more experience gain. In our humble opinion, with all things considered, we feel that Gabby Garcia would have the upper hand in this fight off. Who do you think would win this fight? Do you have a favorite out of the two? Tell us about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.